Hello, and welcome to the Mix Academy Web Show. I'm David Glenn. I'm here with my man, Joey Fernandez. We are stoked to be coming at you. This is episode one of the Mix Academy Web Show. Some of you guys may know we had the Mix Academy Web Show, and we had a bunch of people with us, some good friends of ours, but uh, that just became too hectic, my schedule alone, but there's to coordinate so many different people for a, uh, a web show per se uh, was pretty impossible. So uh, we're going to move forward with episode one. We're calling it episode one, clean slate, starting fresh. And we have an awesome show for you today. We're going to be taking a look at the sub pack. And uh, Joey, first of all, how the heck are you, man? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, man. So uh, before we get into it, I want to say uh, I don't really do product reviews here on the Pro Audio Files. You guys who have followed me, you know, it's stay in my lane of mixing tutorials, mastering, producing, that kind of stuff. But, um, and even plugins, I don't really review plugins as much as I just use the ones I like and show them off to you guys. And then you make the decision if you want to go pick those up or not. This is something a little bit different because uh, <laughs> Joey will tell me about plugins. He'll tell me about gear. He'll tell me about things. And like, it seems like, six months to a year later, I finally listened to him. Dude, I trust him with my life and I trust him with my mixes uh, as my mastering engineer and mixing partner. But uh, uh, I, I'm slow. I have a big family. I'm going to throw out excuses, man, because I am late to the game. You tell me about stuff and it seems like it's a year later before I actually do it. And this is something that you told me about about a year ago. And yes. um, in my defense, you said, wait for version two. Well, version two is out. And... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the sub pack is one of those things, man. This is just ridiculous. There's two sides to this that I want to present to you guys. But before we talk about that, Joey, what the heck is the sub pack? Well, the sub pack is a wearable subwoofer that comes in two different flavors. Um, there, there's one, which is the S2, that attaches to the chair, comes with the unit. Um, David is wearing the M2, which is a wearable unit that's... Uh, uh, it, it's Mobile. control via what it, it, it's over uh, Bluetooth. I'm sorry, <laughs> Bluetooth, or you can do line in. Same pack for each of them, but this one's in the backpack form that attaches to your body, and that one's in a chair. So you can sit back and, and feel the feel the vibration. Have to put a little down twist. Exactly. It is. Yeah. So <laughs> so as Joey was saying, they both come in the same pack, and uh, it's just line in headphones. Uh, so you can go out of, like I have an Apollo interface here, so I go out, TRS cable, it comes with it, comes with all the uh, the international power supplies as well. Uh, exactly. line, line goes in, headphones go out. I've used it with my Buds, with an incredible experience. I've used it with my Sony um, headphones, my Sennheiser headphones, I have a bunch of different uh, cans that I uh, plugged in, it all yep. sounds incredible. This thing will add to the experience, if you're a fan of music, Holy cow, man. Joey, I, I want you to tell me, when you first tried this out, where were you? Was it NAMM? Was it, was it a trade show or something? No, I actually just ordered it. Uh, I had a friend of mine, Matt, who told me about it. Mm. And I'm like, oh, this sounds like a really cool concept. So uh, I went ahead and ordered it. And uh, it was unbelievable. <laughs> the first sitting, you know, I just listened to a bunch of, uh, a bunch of everything. Lots of pop, EDM. Yeah trap music, you name it. And um, what, what was great about me and, you know, me and my nerdy self engineering thinking, you know, the replication of these frequencies that you do not hear on regular speakers or feel, better yet, off a subwoofer, this thing goes down all the way to 5 hertz to 130. And to, to, to listen to your mix and to hear the slop on your sub bottom that you're not hearing is Eye-opener. It's, it's, yeah, it's no, unbelievable. So, so, so I mentioned at the beginning of the, uh, the ramble uh, leading into the video, <laughs> there's two experiences. And uh, there are reviews out there for fans of music, people who like to listen to music. Uh, that's all of us, right? Um, yeah. There's reviews out there talking about that. And so briefly, like Joey said, this thing is ridiculous. You put it on, you don't, there's an intensity knob. I'll uh, put a, maybe like a, a video right here in the middle. Uh, showing you guys the pack and and some of the the th the buttons and the switches or whatever, but um, you don't have to have the intensity cranked to enjoy this. I'm talking like sitting on the couch, working on the laptop, working on websites and emails and all that kind of stuff for the business side of what we do here at the Pro Audio Files. Um, low intensity, chilling on the couch, completely changes the experience of listening to music to feel yes. just even subtle amounts of 
the base and the low end and the subs uh, attached to your body is ridiculous. I know Joey's got the, the, uh, the chair version where you sit down and you experience it there. For me, the mobile was a no-brainer. It's a little bit more expensive. But to be able to go, like I said, to the couch, to wear this, to go for, <laughs> I, I think about going for a walk or something, like if I'm listening and referencing as a mix engineer, but just as a fan of music, video games, watching movies, uh, this right. really, with the Bluetooth, this is is kind of the, the ultimate experience for anybody who, who loves audio. Uh, so that's that side of it as a fan of music. Well, here at the Pro Audio Files, we're producers, engineers, mixers, mastering engineers. Um, and so... I'm going to switch from it being an experience as a fan of music. And let's talk about this as a tool because this is a tool, Joey, right? Yeah, absolutely. I see this really uh, in the production phases, like when you're making music to be able to feel mm. that intensity from the get go, it's, it's inspiring and, you know, it'll get you really excited about what you're doing. I think I actually and, saw a video, Timbaland, you told me, uh, I found it online. Timbaland is wearing this in yeah. the studio producing. You think about it like, if you go to to pick kick samples as a production, you know, making making beats or you're producing, correct, you're gonna feel right away if that kick is what you <laughs> want it to be. You know, if you're especially as you start to listen and feel this and use it as a referencing tool that I'll talk about how I'm using it as a mixing engineer. Correct. Um, you, you're gonna know, man, if you pick the right kick sample or not by if it <laughs> if it gives you that knock that you're looking for. And I think even more importantly, you know, you're gonna hear that clash between your sub bottom, you know, your bass and your kick drums. You know, you're oh, gonna yeah. really hear. With that really takes effect. You know, from watching that video with Timbaland, he's actually said that he relies less on his mains because wow. now he can really feel what's going on. Yeah, and I, as mixers, as mixers and production guys and producers, you know, that you know, cl you know, getting that 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 clash right <laughs> is super important. Actually, and I think and, that this is where this tool. I've I heard I posted on uh, dude I posted on my Facebook and I had a, I think there was someone that mentioned um, no slam to them but they said it's a, it looks like a nice toy. Let me tell you, man, this is not a toy because no. you can feel if you have, so us engineers, you know, 30, 50 hertz. I love when a kick just hits hard down there, man, when it just rocks you. Um, mm -hmm. 808s, all that good stuff. And so to feel that, you can feel the difference between 30 and 50 hertz and 100 or 110 punch, 70 to 90, 100, whatever. You can feel the difference. And yes. um, a recent mix that I did for Ready Midos is already up in the millions you know, on YouTube that, that people are checking that out and loving it. Um, the, the kick, when I listen to it, you can feel when the verse kick is a little bit higher up in the low end, you know, 100 hertz or so, punchy. And then at the, the hook, I added an 808 when I mixed it. And it just boom, boom, just rocks me, man, when I'm, when I'm I'm loving it. But, so, to be able to hear, but to be able to hear that clear, oh, <laughs> you know. That's... Yeah, no, to be able to tell the difference for sure. And a lot of you guys, if you follow me on the Pro Audio Files, you know I'm, I'm weird, man. I mix on headphones. I love my headphones. Give a shout out to uh, my Sennheiser HD 650s. And I love, 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 couldn't live without my Sonarworks headphone calibration plug-in. If you haven't checked that out, that's a whole other thing. You just have to go. I have a, uh, a video, How to Finish a Mix. Maybe we'll link that in the description below. Uh, go check that out if you haven't seen it because it's incredible. It talks about referencing and low end and all the different things. And Sonoworks gets a big shout out there. Uh, but so like the HD 650s, the Sennheisers don't have much sub frequencies. Uh, there's a roll off. And so what Sonoworks does is it puts that back in. Well, now mixing with Sonoworks on or producing with Sonoworks on and working on my headphones. Um, now I have the added benefit of the physical. I can hear and feel it in my ears. And it's just like this whole experience that connects me to the music in a way that I've never felt this before. And, you know, concert, I would say going to a concert and being right up, you know, by the subs is the closest thing to this. But this is attached to your body. Like, you can't beat that. Um, It'll rattle your soul, trust me. <laughs> yeah, man. So, I, hey, I, let me tell you this. Uh, some of you guys may be able to relate to this. A little, little off-topic tangent. As a music creator, I remember hanging out at NAMM with, uh, with you and Graham Cochran and our man Ben, who actually Ben is delivered today, his sub pack. Shows up at his ah, house today, so we'll have, to, awesome. maybe, we'll have to talk to Ben. Um, but uh, I remember asking Graham, hanging out and being like, Joey, Graham, Ben, um, what are you listening to right now? Like, what kind of music are you listening to? Um, what's on your, you know, your, in your car when you get in or on your, your iPod, whatever. And we were all kind of like in the same realm of, I listen to what I'm working on. You know, like we're, we're making music day in, day out. It's almost like, and, and I'm not going to say I, I don't want to listen to music when I leave the studio, 
It's that uh, I'm still listening to the stuff I'm working on because I'm taking notes. How can I make this better, et cetera? And so there wasn't that real, like, uh, as a kid growing up, I had music. All, I had the Sony Walkman, then the CD Walkman, then the all of it. It was always with music. I went to bed on repeat. Music, music, music. <laughs> this, to <laughs> me, makes me want to listen to music again. Like, I went throughout my playlist of country, pop, hip-hop, R&B, the, the old school stuff, the new – like, I'm all over music again, inspired, and I've got the passion for this. It's a great tool, like I said, but just as a fan of music, this is an incredible experience. Uh, to wear this, it's a, to sit on the, in the chair and to it, feel it is, uh, is it's ridiculous. A whole, it's a whole different dimension that, like I said, we never felt before. That's the best way that I could describe it. So I'm late to the game. Joey, uh, Joey turned me on to this a long time ago. I need to start listening to him sooner because he turned me on to Sonarworks <laughs> too. For those of you guys who I turned on to Sonarworks, you got to thank Joey because he's the man that, uh, that pointed me to it. <laughs> Um, we talked about it for a little bit. Let me see anything else. I wanted to share my workflow when referencing. And actually, if you, uh, you pick this up, maybe I'll take a picture and share the manual yeah. that comes with it. It has a section using your Subpack M2 in the studio. Um, if you're a producer of music, be sure to feel the bass response of a number of different tracks referencing uh, to create a reference point. Like any new piece of monitoring equipment, you need to understand and calibrate your Subpack to get the most blah, blah, blah. There's a whole guide to, uh, to walk you how to do that. Um, but again, like I said, the intensity knob here built into the pack. You, know, you can strap that up here, down here, wherever. Um, for me, I just keep it loose so I can control it right here in my lap. Um, you don't have to crank this. Um, and actually, as a tool, I would say uh, subtle, similar to a sub. You don't want to crank the sub. It'll be misleading to how much sub or bass you, you, know, you feel in the room. Uh, with this, um, low to mid, the midpoint, the D10 position, is going to be enough to, to use as a tool and reference. And so for, for me, what I'm doing, uh, those of you guys who know, I use Magic AB. It's by Sample Magic, And uh, I have the plug-in. I shrink it down to the mini version. It goes up in the right corner of my mix window. And uh, I have multiple references picked out. And I just switch back between my mix or production or master and then uh, industry tracks, things that I like to reference. If I'm working in a, a pop R&B type thing, I'll pull in Jason Joshua tracks or Dylan Drosdauer. Um, give a shout out to our man, Ryan West, to pull in tracks from these guys. Um, Manny Mariquin, Tony Maserati, um, fill in the blank, your favorite mixers, get those references going, and then click back and forth. And what I do is on my two bus, my stereo bus, my master fader, I have an EQ, I use a Pro Q2, and I suck out all the top end, and I go down to like 30 hertz. And I click on my track, and I click on theirs. Is mine shaking, rumbling, hitting? Can I feel the kick? Can I feel the bass sustaining? And I just go back and forth and I listen, what am I doing and what are they doing? And, and I try to get comparable, right? So I open that up. I've talked about this a ton. So now with the sub pack, when I do that, man, it's like eye opening. Holy cow. To, to not only hear it, because they're different, different experiences, to not only hear it with sonar works and my HD 650s or your monitors and a sub. You can still rock a sub with the sub pack. You're going to feel it right up against your body. And that to me is just another advantage that we have in the studio making music. Um, I'm doing all the talking, man. Forgive me, Joey. No, you, you no, get, no, I'm no, passionate about this thing. This is crazy how pumped I am. Um, I, I <laughs> saw know, the guy. What, we, I just pointed you to the video of the guy who um, uh, did the unboxing of the sub pack. And he put an unbox something therapy, his YouTube channel. Yeah, and uh, yeah. his reaction. <laughs> he was like, ah! You guys. He loved just it. Just go check him out. That just was my reaction. Out. I put it on. I put it on. After, I called Joey. It was the first thing. We talked for like 10 minutes. I was like, dude, I got to go downstairs. And I went like a kid at Christmas. And I was like, baby, you have to put this on. You have to try this. And my wife put it on. And I, she was like rolling her eyes. You know, it's another thing Whatever. he bought. He bought for music. <laughs> another guitar, this and that. And she puts it on. She kind of hid behind her hair. You know, but she, she loved it. Dude, she was loving it. And so I probably have to buy more because I put put it on her and I put it on the kids, and I was like, "No, this is daddy's. This is daddy's. Like, come, it's coming back with me. <laughs> Stay out of the man cave, this the is studio daddy's toy." But uh, uh, dang it, man, Joey, you you hooked me up, and and hopefully those of you guys who haven't heard of it uh, will like this video, subscribe, uh, go to their website because Subpack. Uh, go ahead, Joey. You you were on the website. You pointed out. You said there was some stuff on there that. Uh, there's a bunch of information, like on the Sub Pack 2, uh, the S2. Uh, there's just a bunch of detailed uh, features and specifications that you guys could take a look at. Uh, you know, you may not want an S2. You may want to 
you know, go with an M2, just wear it around the house. You could, yeah. You know, it, it's probably good because, you know, when you're referencing your mixes, you probably want to walk away from the studio, go outside, take a ride, go to the store, and listen to your music through your sub pack. Um, like I said earlier, you know, listening to that Timberland interview, he relies less on his mains now because now he could feel what he's looking for. <laughs> so, and he's super excited about the product, and, you know, he was like, you know, blown away by the whole thing. And, you know, to yeah. get that kind of endorsement from a guy like that, you know, which, you know, he deals with tons of music that have massive low end, uh, is a pretty big deal. And uh, it's just one of those things, guys, that you're going to have to just get and, and test for yourself and you could hear it and feel it. Feel it. That's and, the best, uh, best way to put it. Is you'll you, see, you're going to feel the music, man. Yeah, you'll feel that, that dimension that you've never uh, felt before. It's, it's really different and so exciting. Let, so let's talk about who is this for. I say everybody. Um, and then I do have one small quirk, one small thing about it, um, maybe two, but uh, but one is out of their control. It's just, you know, I hate cables. And so to have a cable going from there to here and, and that, it's necessary. But they do have Bluetooth. Um, the only downside, the Bluetooth, I felt like the, the noise comes up a little bit. Um, so, but nothing crazy. It doesn't deter from the experience you still feel and, and are connected Correct. to the music. Um, who is this for? I say everybody, fans of music in the studio as a referencing tool, as a device to help you um, uh, feel the difference, the impact, the subs, shaking, the kick, punching, um, where the kick is punching, 100 hertz, 30 hertz, subs, punch, all of that. If you've got too much, if you reference a track, you, you may not be hearing subs in your headphones or your, your uh, room. Correct. Your room may not be treated. You may have a messy low end, whatever. You may be pushing too much, and you reference, Correct. and you're like, oh, okay, you got to back it down a little bit, and let's fill this out. Um, so I, I think it's for everybody. I think that uh, from the producer making music in their bedroom to the mixer mastering engineer, I really think that this offers something incredible for, uh, for us as makers of music and, uh, and helping our productions, mixes, masters to translate across devices and, and how it works Absolutely. out. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the thing about the unit also, it's really lightweight, so there's nothing oh, yeah. heavy about it. Right, David? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm wearing this. I, I think it was Jonathan Roy. Give a shout out to Mixnotes uh, TV. Jonathan uh, Roy Jonathan, uh, commented on my Facebook post about this and said, "So you got to wear a backpack now while you're mixing." I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, I guess, yeah." <laughs> like, I mean, I want to. I'm inspired to wear it. So um, I don't. I, since I've picked this up, I haven't mixed a thing without it, and I haven't put it down when I'm listening to music. And I'll tell you what, my first experience. I remember telling you, Joey, uh, when I was listening, I was just using the buds, uh, chilling on the couch. And I was like, well, okay, I've experienced this for a couple of hours now. I'm starting, you know, it's, it's, okay, what's it like if I turn this off? And so I just turned the intensity all the way off. Dude, I got depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I got sad. I was like, I miss it. I need this in my life. And so um, this is not something that, you know, we didn't get the hookup with these. We bought ours. We bought these. Oh, yeah. And so um, we wanted to, to share the passion, share our experiences with you guys. If you guys want to pick this up we do have a link if you've made it this far in the video we have a link in the description below uh it's an affiliate link so please if you'd use that that would be great but by all means man you're gonna see this in the videos for me you're gonna see me wearing this um i, I this is will be going to us when we go to nam is going in the back the backpack the case oh, yeah. the the suitcase and uh, i'll be the <laughs> the guy annoying the person next to me on the plane <laughs> <laughs> i may not hear the audio is great on the plane but i'll feel it <laughs> So, and it's like you said, man, this thing is huge, man. It, it's, it's, it's for everybody, every facet of, you know, you got gamers that are using this, you know, just absolutely. people just, just listening to music, you know, for us engineers, producers, beat makers, whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's another, it's a great tool to, to reference your low, your bottom, like absolutely. you've never heard it before. Because it, there's no speaker, like I said earlier, that does not replicate five hertz the way this does. Yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing out there. And this isn't so, a sub replacer. This isn't a sub. Um, correct. Uh, let me actually rephrase that. I think this could replace the sub in the sense of what you. No, I don't want to say that because still, like with headphones, to 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 hear and feel that that that's still huge. Um, I would correct. say this is additive. This is cherry on the top times, however, steroids, whatever. Um, Got to have it for me now that I've experienced it. I can't. I can't do it without it. So. I've rambled, Joey. You're the man. Thanks for coming on, and uh, so I'm not just <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure. screaming and talking about this by myself. But uh, Mix Academy Web Show episode number one. I hope you guys dig the review of the sub pack. Uh, if if we could 
go through the the interwebs and shake this in front of you and it lets you feel it we would but uh, you have to just experience this for yourself so find out yep. it's hard, whatever your local shop is whatever uh feel it for yourself but trust us use the link in the description below please like subscribe and uh we have plenty more coming your way from the mix academy web show and the pro audio files we will catch you guys in the next one take care Bye bye